one more time with feeling the third and final race of the weekend for Group A of the BRSCC Mazda MX-5 Championship. Will Blackwell Chambers and Sam Smith on the front row from Oliver Allwood and Brian Trott. Martin Tolley, John Langridge, Charlie Burge and Mike Comer giving chase. Michael Fisk and Stuart Simmons round out the top ten. Teddy Clark and Jason Greatrex on the sixth row ahead of Sebastian Fisher, Stephen Foden, Simon Orange and Adam Craig. And then rounding out the top 20, we have Lewis Cannon, Paul Tucker, Courtney Milnes and the second Group B winner, Clive Poles on row 10. From Marcus Bailey, Paul Bateman, Matthew Pollard and Adrian Burge joins Charlie on the grid. The red lights are on, we're on board with Charlie Burge, the privateer in the 94 and we're racing at Brands Hatch for the third and final time. Not a bad start from Burge as we get away to the left-hand side of the car, but to the right-hand side of us, that is language losing a place, and Martin Tolley, fingertips touching on the doors, and very nearly cars touching as they come through. Absolutely the eye of the needle threaded beautifully for Blackwell Chambers, once again out in front. How does he do it every single time? Terrific start, and a very clean one as well, actually, for the third race. This should be the feistiest and most combative of the races, but it is going to be a close one as they come off of the turn. Now, on the bottom of the hill, there's a bit of a slip and slide in the middle of the field. One or two drivers going sideways. That looked to me like uh, Jason Greatrex going a little bit sideways out of the uh, Graham Hill bend there. And he was actually in the battle with Stuart Simmons at the time. But Sam Smith is leading. Sam Smith is leading. So that is a change of lead then. Blackwell Chambers in second position. So for the first time, Blackwell Chambers has not led the first lap. We're on board with Charlie Burge, that is Martin Tolley trying to charge up to us. Is he going to get the move on the inside? No, he's just going to give a little bit of a nudge on the way into Paddockill Bend. That's not shoving people around the racetrack, that's just good battling. Blackwell Chambers is back, trying to make the move on Sam Smith. Smith is defending to the inside. They've obviously made some progress overnight and Brian Trott is through to third position. Smith is back in the lead, Blackwell Chambers second. Game on! Is he going to be the hat-trick for Blackwell Chambers? Well, not if Sam Smith's got anything to say about it. Blackwell Chambers up to the left-hander in the certes. Look at the battle this time. It's even closer than it has been before. And John Langridge is now in the top five in car number five as he battles his way through. So trot through to third position off the start in front of Allwood. Langridge in fifth position. Then it's Charlie Burge in front of Martin Tolley. We're on board with Charlie Burge. Sixth position, chasing down the fifth place man, John Langridge, being chased by that man, Martin Tolley. Little bit of a nudge as they go down the straight. That's all fine and dandy. That's all fine in love and war. Mike Combert behind Martin Tolley in the 158, trying to make his way through. Great racing here at Brands Hatch as he battles his way into the corner. Charlie Burge still top six, holding on from Tolly Comba, and I think that's either Greatrex or Simmons, or Simmons and Greatrex, depending on who is in front of the other. Looking back, they're both in very similar coloured cars. We'll try and pick it out as they come through, but look at the leaders. Blackwell Chambers going with Sam Smith to try and get away from Brian Trott. He's playing the long game here. But Sam Smith wants to win this one. No favours for Blackwell Chambers this time as they continue to battle away out of the turn. Down out of clear ways. That was close for Will Blackwell Chambers. Charlie Burge, meanwhile, top six. Looks back to Martin Tolley. Still easy at that at the moment. Look how close they are to the pit wall as they come over the line there. You have to take that line. It's the best way of getting across. Then you move the car across to the left-hand side and chuck it in. Still in fourth gear, just having eased off the power and a little blip of the brakes, but keeping back on the throttle on the way up the hill for, through fourth gear. You basically put the power down again as you turn in through Paddock Hill Bend and keep the, keep the pace and the flow very fast throughout. Sam Smith still leading in front of Will Blackwell Chambers. Samuel Smith looking good, and that's a move for fifth position, a uh, sixth position, I think that is, for Martin Tolley trying to get through past Charlie Burge. I don't think that worked. We'll look back. No, it did not. Charlie Burge. Oh, no, it did work. Martin Tolley's already gone through. And there goes Comba trying to make the move. Charlie Burge has got no choice but to watch it happen. And there goes Michael Fisk. Fisk is going through as well. And if you're not careful, you're going to lose another place to Teddy Clark. He is going to get the move on the inside. Oh, manhandled, about three places lost, four places lost. Absolute disaster. Meanwhile, the leaders continue to work through together. These five have cleared away. Smith, Blackwell Chambers, Trot, Allwood and Langridge. And for a moment, it looked to me as though Smith was running wide out of Druids. He cuts back across in time for Graham Hill Bend to exacerbate the damage. But that really has given us a five-car train for victory. Tolly is there in fifth. Sixth is Comba. Eighth. Oh, sorry, seventh is Cooper. 
eight is, uh, I think that's got to be Michael Fisk, hasn't it, in front of Teddy Clark and the man who lost all those places, Charlie Birch, down to 10th. Top five, absolutely together. We're on board with Charlie Burge as we look back to the 11th place man. I think that is Jason Greatrex in front of his uh, main rival all weekend, Stuart Simmons. These two have been battling away together. Simmons trying to throw it up the inside. Is he going to make the move stick? This time I'm going to say no because he hasn't quite made it stick on this occasion. Oh, my apologies, he has. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can always be wrong. Simmons has got through on Greatrex, and now Greatrex is having to defend from Stephen Foden and the 81 of Sebastian Fischer. So they work their way through Graham Hill Bend. We're looking back to see how this battle is shaping up. There it is, Charlie Burge in front of Stuart Simmons. Then it is Jason Greatrex, the 77 of Stephen Foden, and at the back of the queue, that is Sebastian Fischer in the 81. You always want to win your battle, no matter where it is in the race. You're not just racing for points in the championship, you're also racing for your pride and your passion, for your hobby of motor racing. Some of these guys, of course, want to take it to much more than a hobby, and this is a great starting point. Charlie Burge down the straight once more, hugging that inside wall as they come over the green hatchings, up towards Paddock Hill Bend. Behind us, that is Stuart Simmons, the 88. Look how close Blackboard Chambers is for the lead, though. He's giving Samuel Smith so much pressure, and now Language is having to look on the inside of Oliver Allwood to try and come through. That's not going to happen. Sam Smith goes a little bit sideways. We've got it off. That very nearly ended up as a roll for the 55 there of Matthew Pollard. How he saved that from rolling over. Fair play. But, uh, well, he's done his little bit of grass tracking and carries on, and that means that we also are not going to have a safety car. Thanks for that, Matthew. You've saved the race. So up and over the curves at Surtees for the 33 of Jason Greatrex, hanging on from the attentions of Stephen Foden and Sebastian Fischer, who have been pretty much bolted to each other since the start of the weekend. In terms of one lap pace, they are almost level. And in terms of racecraft, they are absolutely the other's equal. Charlie Birch down the main straight, up towards Paddock Hill Bend once again. Look at the leaders again, Smith and Blackwell Chambers still giving it gusto. Trot is still there in third position. If these two are not careful, he'll go for the overtaking move and outfox the others. Great sweeping battles, puff of smoke. Great Trex defence to the inside from Foden. Foden's not getting through. We ride on board with Charlie Birch, looking back. We're on 10th position and we've got four very feisty race drivers behind us in Simmons, Great Trex, Foden and Fisher. Here they come off the turn once again, down the straight, up through the gears, up into fourth gear as they fly through the left-hander at Surtees. Keep plenty of power on, not too much curve. Foden's under pressure and Blackwell Chambers back on the inside of Clark. Blackwell Chambers takes the lead back again. Smith is not going to surrender. He's right back on the hunt. Trot is in there for third. Is this going to be the toughest race of the lot? Smith is going to try shortly to come through on Blackwell Chambers. Blackwell Chambers defends beautifully. He leads again. Is this going to be the hat-trick for Will Blackwell Chambers? That would be a sensational feat. He comes up the hill to Druids. Smith's still there in second. You can't just throw it in and hope it's going to get the pass done. You really have to work hard for it. And it's a long old race here in the Master MX Vibes. You've got to fight for this for every single lap. Still pushing hard. Blackwell Chambers, Smith, Trot, Olwood, Langridge. And then into the battle is looking likely to come Martin Tolley. It could become a six-way battle for the victory with Will Blackwell Chambers once again at the head. But Sam Smith has got past him once. He knows how to get past him again. He's just got to do the hard work to get there in the first place. Out of clearways once more. Almost flirting with the white line on the inside line by the pits. They're that close to it. Here we go again. Up on the inside, no, well covered by Blackwell Chambers. He's moved literally just a couple of inches further to the right just to stop any hint of suggestion that Sam Smith may get a window of a crack of a chance of an opportunity to come through. Don't even think about it. These couple of inches over to the right tell you that I am not letting you come by. So Sam Smith still in second place. Brian Trott in third. Fourth is Oliver Allwood. Fifth place. Very much hassle coming from John Langridge and sixth place Martin Tolly. The top six breaking clear. Up towards Surtees. Turn in. Not too much curve. A little bit of a whisper of it on the inside line as well if you want to be daring. Break. Don't change down the gear until the last minute. Then you can carry the speed through on the power and third gear. Back on the power again. Up into fourth gear. You're going to stay in fourth gear until the braking zone for Druids now. That's how long you keep on this power. Meanwhile, further back, seventh place is led by Comba. Then it's Clark. Then it's Fisk. 
Then we've got this battle further back, and side by side, that is Charlie Burge losing a place as uh, they continue to battle away for position, all the way down to these guys still tussling away. That is Adam Craig hanging on in the mix behind Simon Orange, and he's having a tussle with the 22 of Paul Tucker, who's had a very crazy day at the offices. He's been working his way through as much as he possibly can. He's been in both groups this weekend as Paul Tucker. And here he comes out of Druids with a lot of battling still to come. Is that the treble seven behind him? I think that might be Courtney Mills. We'll double check. But we're on board with Charlie Burge. That is definitely the 67 of Simon Orange behind us. Orange has got a good run. Burge made a mistake. Did he add a great meal bend or does he just not have the same power? Craig is coming through as well. Oh, not a lot of room. And I wonder if Burge has got a problem. Yeah, Tucker's coming through. Nice and easy. Oh, well, very nearly nice and easy. And then through on the inside, that is the 54 coming by of Marcus Bailey, in fact. Courtney Mills is still going for those who are interested, but uh, not in the battle for the lead. This is the battle for seventh position behind... No, it's got to be for ninth position, sorry. That is Comber, Bisk and Clark. Still tussling away, or maybe it is for seventh position, actually, because the car in front of us does look like Marcus Tolley. The fingertips touching on the doors, give it away. No silly jokes at my expense, please. I've heard them all before. Anyway, down the back straight once again. And this time, Michael Fix does not want to be number eight in P8 anymore. He wants to be number eight further up the field. Can he make the move into Clark? He'll get on the brakes, get the car stopped. Clark is in there as well, looking for a chance to come by as well. Good little battle between Langridge and Tolly up the road for fifth and sixth positions. We're not done with this battle for seventh place yet. For tenth position, that looks like Stuart Simmons hanging on from the 77 of Stephen Foden as well. Foden goes left. Simmons sends in there. Under brakes. He's never going to be able to get the undercut through. But he might be able to carry the speed down the hill and have another try. But Simmons moves right across the block. So he sells in the dummy and goes the other side. Clark, meanwhile, gets past Fisk. Clark has got through on Michael Fisk. And that's a great overtaking move from Teddy Clark. Meanwhile, Stuart Simmons is defending from the 77 of Stephen Foden. He's not coming by anytime soon. Greatrex is in there as well. Jason Greatrex, the 33, pushing on with the 81 of Sebastian Fisher coming along for company. Terrific racing. Back at the front, Blackwell Chambers still just in front of Sam Smith. And up the inside, Martin Tolley is through on John Langridge. So Langridge is through, and he actually waves his arm in the air to the 23. What is the 23, Marty Tolly on language? Now, either that is one of two things, either that is stop mucking about with me and let's go after the guys in front, or he's clearly unhappy with the way language has been holding him up and wanted to tell him so. Either way, I think they've got to work together if they want to win this race, and they are able to do so. They're not far away from the four leaders, so they could just start to use the draft to assist each other to move forward. Look, he's waving to the guys. That's what he's doing. He's waving to the guys in front. Let's go catch them. Come on, work with me. Through Graham Hill Bend. Still trying to close up on the guys in front. Martin Tolly, number 23, still pushing hard. Up through the top bar of the circuit. As they come up and over the crest. Surtees and McLaren and into Clark Corner. Let's see if he keeps it going all the way through. Not bad going from the leaders. Blackwell Chambers and Sam Smith still leading comfortably as Sam Smith tries to go for the move on Blackwell Chambers. Gives him a little nerve towards the braking zone. Both drivers break very late for that first paddock hill bend, but Blackwell Chambers one race one, one race two. Can he make it a three race clean sweep? Sam Smith is giving him pressure and aggro. Brian Trott is in third position, looking for his first podium of the weekend in front of Oliver Allwood, who was second in race one, third in race two, and is struggling to stay in contention for the podium in race three. This will be a tough season for anybody to overhaul Will Blackwell Chambers. He's making sure of it. Down the back straight once more. Sam Smith still putting the pressure on. That's all he can do at this point, is continue to hustle Will Blackwell Chambers around the circuit and hope that it's the uh, reigning champion that drops the ball. Into clearways, he will come once again. And once more, very, very cautious on the back of uh, Will Blackwell Chambers not to get too close until he knows an overtaking move is on. Tolly there in fifth, ahead of Langridge. Count the seconds. Several of the... Oh, and the cavalry comes over the hill. And it's led by Comber, Fisk, Clark, Simmons and Foden. And all five of them are going to be together as Simmons dives down the inside of Clark. 
to move up into ninth position. Clark's going the long way round to fend him off. This is supreme racing for the Mazda MX-5s. And now Foden has a look on the inside of Simmons, while Simmons simultaneously goes for the inside of Teddy Clark and tucks in behind Michael Fisk. And then we've got Jason Greatrex and Sebastian Fischer joining the party as well. Teddy Clark holding off Foden. Foden's still there. Surely he can't let that go through. No, he doesn't. Clark manages to get through, no problem. Greatrex is now a little bit held up by Foden, and this could give Fischer a chance to come by into the position. So will he overtake? No, nothing doing at the moment. Magnificent battles from all the way from Coomber at the front of the queue down to Fisher at the back of it. Seven cars in unison battling for the victory and certainly battling for their position, which is set to be a race for seventh position by the end of this one. But you always want to be at the front of your battle. No matter where it is on the racetrack, you want to be the one that came out on top in a pure fight. And all seven of these guys will know just how hard it is. And all seven of them will be experienced at being the one at the front of the queue in a particular battle as Fisher makes his move on the inside of Jason Greatrex. A little bit more curb than was necessary for Greatrex as he held onto the place. Not his fault, of course. The car just drifted to the scene of the curb and that's where he's going to park it for the moment. But he keeps it going. And now we've got a move on the inside. That is a move on uh, Teddy Clark from... Uh, Foden, I'm not entirely sure he got that move stuck. Let's have a look. Now he had to back out of it, and fair enough, you don't uh, go that crazy into the corner unless you know your car is significantly faster than your opposition. Otherwise, that is just going to take you both to the scene of the accident. He's trying again, though. Foden has to go around the far side of Teddy Clark. Can he come by? No, nope, not going to happen. He will not overtake. He's going to have to wait for an opportunity to overtake and get on the inside into Druids. He has to think about it. Clark moves across to cover. He might be able to set him up for a dummy here out of Druids. Will the car drift over to the left? Well, it does, but not uh, in a position that gives Foden much hope for an overtaking move, certainly on that lap anyway. But this race is still just a little way to go, so every one of these drivers will want to push on, will want to get the best out of their car in the final reckoning. Rusertis and McLaren, Mike Comber still out there in front of the number eight. Michael Fisk, having started originally down in 17th in race one, has fought himself and acquitted himself very well up the way through the order. Firmly in the top ten and deservedly so. They come up the hill once again. Is this going to be the opportune moment for Simmons to come through? No, it's not. He can't quite overhaul Michael Fisk. So down out of Druids once again. There is Mike Coomber in the 158 in front of the eight of Michael Fisk. Will he manage to get the overtake on Coomber? Simmons is there still in ninth position. Then it is Clark, then it is Foden, then it is Greatrex, and then it is Sebastian Fischer. Clark defends to the inside to stop any chance of Stephen Foden getting any ideas. But Clark again just guards that inside line so beautifully, so serenely. He is having a great time out there. Bone in the back end kicks out, and he manages to get the car under wraps before the tyres even start chirping. That car was slowly starting to drift. Foden knew it was coming, caught it nicely, has got a chance on Teddy Clark now. He goes left. Will he make the move stick? Don't even think about it, Sunshine. Great racing here at Brands Hatch in the first round of the PRSCC Mazda MX-5 Championship, and it's going to go to the death for these guys as they continue to scrap away. Foden trying to come right around the outside of Clark, keep the car in the position. No, he can't. Absolutely amazing. There is so much incentive to race in this championship. You've always got an incredible battle. Let's not forget, there are 24 cars in the A group, and then there are 24 cars in the B group. It's an amazing paddock to go racing in because you get so many racing drivers battling with you and you get so much entertainment the bang for your buck is just about the best value racing series there is out there Clark now coming for the inside of Stuart Simmons Simmons just catches the car before it drifts and Teddy Clark is just going to be running side by side down the length of this straight Simmons is still there and in the last lap there's still this battle between the two out front Blackwell Chambers and Smith but I do not see how Sam Smith is going to get one over on Blackwell Chambers now he has fought him honest all the way throughout this might be his last chance into Graham Hill Bend he's coming from too far back but he does want to set him up for a chance into Clark corner down the back straight Blackwell Chambers is just a few corners away from making this the clean sweep hat trick and that would be quite a feat in such a competitive field. Up towards McLaren, into Clark, 
Sam Smith is not going to throw this one to the caution to the winds. He's going to try and now sprint into the line, but it is going to be close. Sam Smith will get the draft and drag, but Blackwell Chambers is going to beat it to the line. It's one, no, two, no, three victories for Blackwell Chambers in front of Sam Smith. Oh, that's the hat trick for the reigning champion from Trot in third and Allwood in fourth position. Martin Tolley and John Langridge fought valiantly for fifth and sixth position. Where's the seventh place battle? There it goes. Too fast to call it. But Blackwell Chambers wins once again in front of Sam Smith. Third place for Brian Trott in front of Oliver Allwood. Martin Tolley and John Langridge. Then Mike Comber comes home in front of Michael Fisk, Teddy Clark and Stuart Simmons. Martin Tolley, the fastest lap of the race, by the way. Stephen Foden, Jason Greatrex, Sebastian Fisher, all very close ahead of Clive Poles. Then Adam Craig, Simon Orridge, Paul Tucker. Then Marcus Bailey, Courtney Milnes, Charlie Burge, Adrian Burge, Matthew Pollard and Paul Bateman. The only non-finisher, Lewis Cannon. But he'll be back next time, as will they all, at Snetterton. Well done to Blackwell Chambers. Well, Patrick wins on the first... Oh, there you go. Well, Patrick wins in the opening the round. It's the same as last year. Congratulations. No, it's brilliant. Uh, to do what we did last year, didn't think it was going to happen coming into the weekend, but so happy to have done it. It's paid off all of Dad's hard work over the winter. Yeah. So what are your favourite tracks? One off, yeah. It's done me very well over the last couple of years. We seem to be very consistent around him, very fast, so it's a good place to start the season. Definitely is. With three wins. Congratulations. Go and enjoy it. Cheers. Sam, another podium, another second place. What can you do to get past Will? I don't know. He, he's notoriously very, very fast here. Um, I thought I was going to do him in that race, best I felt all weekend, but uh, it just wasn't quite enough. It, it, it probably looked like I was just sitting there, but I was on the edge. I was making a few little mistakes here and there. I was extracted as much as I could out of what I had, but uh, it just wasn't quite enough. But I've got better rounds to come. This is a, a weak track for me, so hopefully moving forwards we'll, uh, we'll be on the top step, not the second and third one. So. Which is your strongest track? Well, Cadwell and Snetterton are notoriously I'm quite strong at, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed next race I'll be on the top step. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Brian Trott, fourth season with the Mazda MX-5s um, and it's your first podium in 2018, congratulations. Yeah, this weekend's gone well, the car, my new car, uh, has only been finished a week and done any dry running prior to this round, so we knew it was going to be a bit into the unknown, um, but we knew we would have pace eventually and we managed to extract it from the car, so uh, it's a good start, two fourths and a third, um, good solid points and then build from that for the rest of the season. Congratulations. Thank you very much.